Hey, howdy, hey there, little lady and gentlemen. Dr. Kimmel's here, and I know I'm kind of distant, distant, distant. Sorry for that. Hey, howdy, hey. Now then, I've always told you that I'll study any subject for you. Well, if I've told a lot of you I have. Uh, one of you that I've told this, if you're watching this right now, you're, I'm not going to mention your name because you didn't want your name mentioned. But I did a research project for you, and I wanted to make your project into a video for my fans. So thank you. Because this is a good example of the research I'll do for you. I'm not going to research for you how babies are made. I'm not going to research for you. I'm not, I'm not going to research anything interesting. Uh, I'm going to study and study and research for you weather stuff. Uh, this subject to me how volcanoes affect the weather. All right. Now this is short because there's really not that much detail yet. Okay. But I will research for you whatever you need research, unless I got the answer right away, which, as most of you know by now, I usually do. So again, today's subject is how volcanoes affect weather. And trust me, it's, it's, if, you, if you want to copy this paper, then you need to let me know, but it's only just the description itself, put about a half a page. You go on any website and you're probably going to get about the same thing. Uh, a lot of this information I'll give you the websites are it's coming from uh, volcanoworld.worldpress.com, uh, usgs.gov, uh, Wikipedia, both of those. So, you know, there's a, there's a little bit of useful information in here for you. So if, if you're in, the only reason I didn't present this sooner, because I did this like a month ago now, the only reason I didn't do this sooner is because I couldn't get any footage of any volcanoes just to put as a cool background. So. That's why I'm keeping it as cloud videos or cloud pictures, whatever the case may be. Uh, let's just keep cloud video. Make it simple. Okay? So, let's get started. So, how does weather get affected when volcanoes erupt? When a volcano erupts, there is an increased amount of rain and is observed frequently an outbreak of lightning strikes within the eruption. Theoretically, the rain is caused by ash particles, as ash particles are believed to be good at attracting and or collecting water droplets. Scientists believe that lightning is caused because of volcano enables separations of protons and neutrons, which is necessary for lightning to strike. And I've told you that if you've seen lightning, how does it happen, as presented by Justin's Wild Weather Adventure. Not me talking, of course, but it's on there. A costly effect that volcanoes have on cities that were not directly impacted is the formation of sulfur dioxide. This threat turns into acid rain, which can be carried for miles away from the active volcano. Acid rain can damage property, livestock, and even human beings. Though not deadly, if exposed to acid rain enough, it can create some serious health problems. Um, if you want to see what acid rain looks like, look at a uh, look at a statue and you see it's got kind of that black mold look effect to it. That's what acid rain pretty much looks like in a nutshell. Uh, there's a lot of different effects, so be careful out there, especially if you're in a very high industrial area. Alright, so if there is an excess amount of sulfur dioxide in the atmosphere, it can block dangerous sun rays from escaping. If the, uh, this happens, the Earth will get warmer and it will then create what is known as the greenhouse effect, which is uh, what affects a lot of today's weather. It really does, if you didn't know that. A good question to ask as well is, can the world be affected by a volcano? Yes, in fact, the eruption of Mount Pinatubo in July 1991 caused a 0.05 degrees Celsius drop for many regions across the world. Now, let's kind of say that's a lot more recent. That was uh, not even 20 years ago. That was like 13 years ago. Now let's go back uh, over, you know, let's go back 190 years ago, you know, almost 200 years ago. Whenever, uh, remember we hit 2015? 200 years ago this happened. On April of uh, 1815, the Tambora volcano in Indonesia lowered the global temperature as much as 3 degrees. In 1816, not even a year later, many parts of Europe and North America probably get the year without a summer because, you know, because of the cloud that's formed. Um, and that a lot of times it blocks the sun, as I just said. Um, there's no, oh, sorry, got sidetracked. Sometimes it could be years before any long-term effects of volcanoes are noticed. Volcanologists study volcanoes extensively and have made some great strides in predicting their eruptions. There is no solid way to predict when a volcano is going to erupt, but the research has come a long way as it pertains of ways of being better prepared. There is very little information on how weather does get affected from a volcanic eruption. But we have come so far within the past years, as volcanoes erupt, we collect more data and information so that we can better explain to you these life-changing side effects. Always know that just because it looks innocent does not mean it's innocent. 
Although kind of a contradictory statement, if you will. But realize, volcanoes are kind of like tornadoes in a lot of ways because we don't, we know the science, we know what to look for, but it's not guaranteed. Okay? Not much to say today, but that. I was going to do this for you a long time ago, now I'm finally doing it. I do hope you have a great day. This is Dr. Cumulus with Justin's Wild Love Adventure. We're learning his adventure. I will see you again. And until next time, as we say here in Italy, ciao. Without the hand. See y'all later.